Welcome to It's Not Letting Me. Today we're going to tell you about the easiest way to free up space on your iPhone or iPad for free. It's called Google Photos. Google Photos stores your photos in the cloud and will share it across all of your devices. When you get that message that your iPhone is full, you have Google Photos installed and it will automatically back up everything to the cloud and delete it off of your phone. You then can use the Google Photos app just like you use the Apple Photos app on your phone, so all the pictures will still feel like they're on your phone, but they're not actually on your phone. They're being stored in the cloud and accessed from your phone. Google Photos is completely free. It will back up high quality versions of your photos and HD videos automatically for free. First thing you have to do is set up Google Photos and allow it to back up your photos automatically. So you go in here, inside the menus, you say free up space. It'll say remove 67 items. I'm gonna say remove. It's gonna make sure that it's backed up in the cloud, but then it's gonna delete it on my device. The final thing you have to do is go into the Photos app inside the recently deleted Photos folder, and you delete it. You say select and delete all. Your iPhone and your iPad are gonna behave exactly the same. The only difference is that the iPhone can make phone calls and the iPad can't. Google Photos is shareable. You can create groups that you share photos with automatically. For example, I create a family group and I share it to all the members of my family and then anyone in that group can add photos and they're shared to everyone in the group. One of the cool things about Google Photos is that it takes advantage of AI. It will go through all of your library and start to index words that are attached to those photos. So you can see it's already got a bunch of stuff. So if I just wanted to see pictures of posters, I take a pictures of a lot of street art. Here's all those posters. Food, only pictures of food. I can type in the word dog and look, only pictures of dogs show up. So there's my little dog, Jack. And you can add filters. You can also do manual control. You have a lot of options. You can adjust the exposure, all of your settings, and you can change the look and feel of your images. And then once you save it on your phone, it'll save it to your cloud library. So if someone else is accessing these later, it'll be the exact same updated photo. One of the great things about the artificial intelligence built into Google Photos is the ability to search by location. So I did some traveling this year. So if I just wanted to see the photos from Dublin, I just tap on Dublin and it automatically just searches everything. This is an easy way to share things with smaller groups that you don't want to broadcast publicly on Instagram or Facebook. The beauty of this is that the photos are already in the cloud, so you don't have to spend any time getting these photos to upload. You just indicate which ones you want shared in the album and then it shares them. It is screencastable. You can remember in our previous video, we talked about the Chromecast. As you can see in the top corner here, you have a Chromecast icon. And so instantly you can be sitting in your living room on your phone or your iPad, and you can be sharing photos on the big screen TV. Instead of having everyone huddle around your phone, everyone can sit back and enjoy your photo. You can order books that Google will print and mail back to you. You can also create animations and slideshow videos right inside the app. So finally, you can go to photos.google.com and have the exact same experience that I just demonstrated on my iPad. It also will work exactly the same on your iPhone or your Android phone or any phone that you can have an app on. Once you have all your photos inside of Google Photos, you can take a look at your timeline. It will synchronize your calendar and your mapping data to show you where you were when you took these photos. Take a look. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe down below. We have many more videos coming that expand on the topics we started with today. It's not letting me. Quit saying that.